Everybody. How's everyone doing this evening? It's me, KY. We're going to be playing some uh, Tiny Heist, which is a little roguelike game uh, released for free by Terry Cavanaugh uh, of VVVVVV fame. Uh, and it's really good, <laughs> turns out. I've been playing a lot of it, and I'm getting to... I can get towards the final... Well, I think is the final area pretty consistently. I could be wrong. Actually, I don't know if it's final at all. But um, if it is, then I'm pretty close to beating it. Let me know if I'm live. As always, Twix, uh, pff, Twix. Twitch has been uh, pretty terrible lately for letting me know if I'm live or not. I can never tell. So just give me a heads up in chat. If I'm live, say hey. Yeah, it's weird. I'm having so many issues. Like I can't even view like my viewer list half the time. Can't view... Uh, how many viewers I have just all sorts of weird issues ever since the dashboard change um, Let me type in chat. Am I live? Because no one's responded yet. It's quite possible. I'm not Okay, mythos says I am Twix is okay, my dude. <laughs> I had a, a fat omelet for dinner. It was great. I had bacon onion and mango habanero hot sauce and Mexican cheese it was so good. Let's play some Tiny Thief. And since Mythos was the first to type in chat, he's going to be my first thief, which I just have like a makeshift little system for naming characters, just because why not? It'd be fun. Can you all see that OK? And yeah. OK, everything's unmuted. Looks like we're pretty good. I might, depending on what you guys want, do some. Um, Song requests. I can only stream for maybe a half hour to an hour. It's going to be a short stream. And I was playing this, and I was like, you know what? Why not just stream it? It'd be fun. You guys can watch and strategize with me. There's not uh, much to do at the beginning. There's no character creation. It's kind of like Brogue in that it's much more of a on-the-fly roguelike. Um, you are the ampersand in classic roguelike fashion. You're picking up items like these delicious bananas so that you can get your potassium that you need. It's very, very important. And you get detected by cameras. But it's okay, because I, I have a banana. I can just drop it, and he's no longer after me. Um, and I stepped into this guy's point of view, because I thought I was pressing Z, but I was pressing A. <laughs> Which, of course, moves my character left, so he's going to hurt me. And I take out that camera, grab the key, run, and out of here. KY, I know you already played or, or are playing Steven Sausage Roll. Did you do that on stream? I did it on stream once um, just to show people the game. That was terrible. We'll give Mythos another shot because I was just demonstrating the game, so none of that counted. Um, I actually finished Steven Sausage Roll off stream, and I kind of regret not streaming it because by the time you get to towards the end of the game, 
It's a mindfuck. <laughs> like a really, really intense mindfuck. Not just mechanically, but also from surprisingly a plot standpoint. It turns out Steven Sasha's role is hiding a very dark lore. Like, shockingly so. Turns out. So go figure. But excellent game. One of my favorite games of last year. Worth every penny. Because that's the first thing anyone ever observes about the game is the price. Strange. I guess not so strange. It's kind of expected in the current climate. Oh, man. I kind of want to go up and get... Wait, I might have to get that key. Now I do have to get that key. Which, I don't know... Well... No, this... Aw, oh, that's not fair. I have to get caught here. Well, the, the game doesn't do too many levels like this. It's just really unlucky, but there's no way for me to get up to that camera without setting it off. So we'll just eat it. But... If I was fast enough or optimal enough, I could have possibly, because I didn't know there was another path to the right, I could have possibly just uh, grabbed the key and ran to the door without taking any damage, but I probably was not as optimal as I could have been. I could have waited until I was two tiles away from the camera instead of three, and thus potentially still escaped. You're on the third part right now, and the rolling mechanic is fucking me up, rip. I think the third area is this, the most sheer difficulty cliff. Once you beat the third area, and no matter how impossible it seems, you will beat it as long as you keep trying, I promise. Once you get into area four, the game gets more manageable. You start to, to see, you start to think with sausages, so to speak. You start to kind of read the geography of each level just a little bit better. And, um, and yeah, from four onward, there's still some really devious puzzles, but there's nothing... It's not as bad. I feel like around uh, World fl uh, 4 is where everything really starts to click. So you're almost there, Albatross. And you need to keep me updated, man, because I don't have anyone to talk to about sausages. All right, Mythos, you had your shot. I'm going to make this one Albatrix. Albatrix is the, the thief in this level. Hey, Tyrion, how's it going? Good to see you. We're just doing heists. Light bulb, switch on light so you can see properly. So it's essentially just gets rid of the fog of war if I use that. All right, I gotta focus in the game because I've been beefing it pretty hard. Of course I do that, but that's no biggie. Because there are no enemies to catch me. Tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, didn't even matter. Okay, so here, I'm gonna wait right here. And knock him out and run. Ooh, a gun. Multiple uses, very noisy but effective. It destroys whatever it aims at, but alerts everyone on the current floor to you. And if anyone has any questions about what's going on, let me know, because I know even when it's not strictly ASCII, like this game has a pretty, I think, parsable tile set. Oh, fuck me. Um, <laughs> I wish I could turn while I'm without moving, but the thing is I cannot turn to aim my gun at him without running into him and taking damage. So I'm just gonna take the damage and run. Um, I understand that something about really simple graphics in roguelikes, even when they have parsable tile sets, they throw people off. People tend to be like, I have no clue what the fuck's going on. So if that's the case, let me know. I will try my best to explain. Um, but yeah, Albatross, you have to keep me informed of your progress. In fact, if you stream it, I will watch. I'll watch the fuck out of it. If you're a streamer. I don't know if you are. Yeah, I like how it's an ampersand as well. I think it's really clever. Oh, sh shit. Oh, just him. We're gonna shoot him. We'll shoot him too. Oh, God. Killing everybody. And we're almost dead, but we're just gonna keep on trucking. It's really important that you don't give up, because we can always make a comeback. We don't have to take out that camera. That's an important thing to realize. It's definitely... It, this game is a really good game feel, so knocking out stuff feels really nice. But it's also uh, a little bit of a trap, because you don't actually have to knock everything out. In fact, it's often preferable to not knock someone out. We're going to buy a banana. Um, let's see where he goes. Okay, so he is a path. Pretty long path, too. Oh, fuck me. Damn, I'm doing terrible. 
And we're going to go this way because we want to try to not take green doors if we don't have to because they consume keys. And you can oftentimes get to the exit without ever consuming a key if you're lucky. Not all the time, but oftentimes. And later we're going to need a lot of keys. So get some health back. Now this camera is kind of interesting because the tiles all around it are lit up. So you can't actually ever knock it out without... I guess I could shoot it from a distance, but point is I can't melee it. So the only thing you can do is just avoid detection. Um, so let's see, that guy to the right. Let's observe him. Oh no, I didn't expect that. That's okay, we still have our gun. And we're just gonna run. Ugh, we're doing terrible. Come on, Albatross, get it together. He says, I haven't booed the game in days. Guess I have to now. Yeah, I think it's funny. The first time I attempted to beat Steven's, or the first time I played Steven's Sausage Roll, I got to around Area 3 and just got totally overwhelmed and just gave up. Not gave up, but I had to take a pretty extended break. Around six months later, um, this must have, yeah, that's about right. About six months after it released and I decided to go back to it, I worked my way on a fresh save back to Area 3 and it just went so much smoother. But I'm telling you now, uh, Area 3 is a huge difficulty spike. Oh. Okay. So this is the first kind of like bossy type area. It's a very open area with a lot of keys. Ooh. Barely got that. Um. And in order to leave this area, I need to have three keys. So if you have enough keys when you enter, you don't actually have to do a lot. But it's actually often very beneficial to stock up on keys regardless. There's a dog over here, which we haven't seen dogs yet. They just kind of, I interpret it like they're snoring. I don't know why. It's just like the, the vibe I get. And that could be a key. It is a key. And, oh, but the dog heard me. Fuck. Okay. We're just gonna leave. All right, second area. When I'm streaming Batman against Suspense Kill Me. I actually planned on streaming that tonight, Kirby fan, but I got home from work at around 8.30. Uh, I spent some time with my lady friend and, uh, and ate dinner after that. And before I knew it, it was 10.30. <laughs> go figure. I was going to tonight though. I thought it'd be really nice to go straight from three to four in consecutive nights. I just couldn't. I couldn't finish all my stuff early enough. So here's a fancy little maneuver. If you wait till he's at the corner, they move once every two turns. So once he's facing the corner, you can actually move forward and hit him before he turns to face you, which is neat. A neat trick that I learned. Oh, the dog, duh. And I forget if the dogs can open the doors. I think they can break down the doors. Oh, wait, yes, they can. Okay. We're just going to keep running because you never know. You might be able to escape without ev the dog ever catching you if you're really lucky. Um, we I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. Let's go right. And here, this is going to be really tricky because I have uh, the red cameras uh, do damage to you. So, yeah, I'm going to have to take damage with the dog. Hey, JJ Red Switch, how are you doing? No music stream this week, no. I I don't know. I got really discouraged by the last one. I feel like I'm, my music's not good enough to to do it every week. I'm still writing music every day, so that's good. But I think I'm going to wait until I'm even better than I am now. Oh, I got so sloppy. Um, let's. Oh, I could have drilled. I could have drilled out when that dog was chasing me earlier and never had to deal with anything. I can't afford that because this is a terrible run. And let's see what, actually there are no other things. That's the thing you need to remember too, is that you can always see the question marks of nearby things. So if you see two moving question marks, you know they're patrolling an empty room because there's no third question mark of what they're guarding, if that makes sense. Okay. Let's see, ooh, cardboard box. Those are really good. At the same time, I might need this key to exit. Let's see if we can find another key. Yeah. And two gems. Absolutely worth the one key, especially as later I'll be able to buy keys with gems. Okay. What happened the last time? 
Why would I be discouraged? Oh, I don't know. It was just a very unproductive, um, very unproductive stream. I couldn't quite, I wasn't, I, I couldn't write the way that I was hoping to write, and I was having a lot of issues with volume uh, from a composition standpoint. I was like, yeah, shit, well, I gotta improve that. Please. There we go. The red beams will shoot you on site instead of just alerting you. Well, they'll alert everyone as well as shoot you, so they'll actually damage you. Can't have a stealth game without a cardboard box. Isn't that weird how that became such an accepted trope in stealth? I think that's really strange. Okay, so this, there's something being guarded down here. Or that could be the... Yeah, it's just the camera, camera itself, and I didn't think it would see me. I thought I had enough leeway, but it turned once just before I reached it. Hi, I said hi, JJ Red Switch. I did. I promise. JJ. You go in the shame box. In order to, to win your pride back, you must steal it. Bananas. And actually, I forget to do this a lot too, but when you're waiting for an enemy to go around a corner, it's often better to wait on top of a camera because it keeps their cooldown from refreshing. And I could have bananaed him, but I'm playing way too hasty to do that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'll, I'll go back to music streams sometime in the near future, but I had to rethink things after last week. Or two weeks ago, I guess. It's kind of like Invisible Ink in a way. In Invisible Ink, if you knock out a guard, um, you can stay on top of the guard and it will not reduce their cooldown to wake up. You can just stay. It's called pinning a guard. So this game actually uses that same mechanic. The stack enemy means they're knocked out. Uh, in fact, next time they're knocked out, I'll kind of point it out. <laughs> Excuse me, but um, you'll actually see a timer showing how long they have until they'll wake up. Can't even afford banana. Ugh, I have hiccups. Enemies are also relatively predictable. Every time they hit a wall, they will turn whichever direction they need to turn. If they have two possible directions they can turn, I think they randomly choose a direction. I think that's how it works. I'm not 100% certain. Um, similar to Invisible Ink or many roguelikes, the clock in this is uh, new guards entering the level when you take too long. Okay, so watch the cameras here that I just knocked out. See, that one's at 9. If I wait a turn, it's now on 8. Move, 7, and so on. This guy's guarding a gym. Okay. <sighs> um, let's wait for him on the left. Yeah, you see how both those guys hit the same wall, one turn left, one turn right? So that's what makes me think that they will choose a random direction if they come across come to an area where they could do two. Alright. Uh gonna go this way. Invisible Ink is really good though. It's made by the people who made like Don't Starve and Mark of the Ninja and such, but it's a stealth roguelike type game. It's like XCOM except purely stealth based and it's really good. Let's see, and the guys on the left are also guarding a key from the looks of it. Oh, that's okay. We got all the keys that we needed. How many do we have? Oh, wow. We really used all of our keys. I could have sworn I picked up a few extras, but I guess not. I guess not. One second, guys. Okay. Teleporter. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's get that. I gotta remember that I have bananas and guns and all sorts of stuff. I'm falling into that new roguelike trap where you're so focused on navigation and the core mechanics that you just don't even think of all the stuff you have available to you. Um, let's see, one, two gems and a sword. Yeah. See, he's going back, and they're both going back and forth, and one of them has a gun. Ooh, a fire. Never seen that before. A matchstick. Probably completely safe to use. Let's get rid of, oh man, I don't want to get rid of any of these. Let's get rid of the sword. I was more getting it for the two gems than the actual sword. Alright, let's wait for this jabroni. Head up. Grab another key. Run. Oh, it was dumb. Um, let's try the matchstick. Whoa! <laughs> will that hurt me? Of course it will. I don't know, that was such a dumb question, but I've never used it before, so I wanted to try it. Oh no, please tell me it's gonna... Oh no, it just grows? Oh god, this is chaotic. Is it ever gonna die down? Oh shit, it's just spreading. Like crazy. Uh oh. Okay, before it spreads any further, let's teleport. Uh, just because I can think of zero other options. And it teleported me in the fire, but I can teleport again and pray that it brings me to the door. Last teleport. It did not bring me to the door. I moved out of the fire, at least. Oh, I think this is it, JJ. <laughs> I think this is it. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know what the matchstick would do with just one match. Oh, no. Dang. Good run, JJ. Very good run. Alright, next is gonna be... Inferno Bloods. Yeah, this game's free, guys. You should go get it. Inferno Bloods. I will link it in chat. Tiny Heist. Well, it's pay what you want, so you can pay a little bit if you'd like, and it's pretty good. I might actually go back and pay for it, because I'm really enjoying it a lot, and I'm getting a lot of time out of it. Okay. Everything has burned. You know, I kind of wish it would do the, um, what game is it? What game am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead, when you die. The second you die, the game just, the game clock just kind of automatically keeps going. Actually, there's a few games that do that. Could probably name a few, but I wish it would do that so I could watch the fire just continue to spread after I die. Oh, um, uh, the ground gives way does it as well. You can continue to just keep waiting and watch everything, like all the monsters feed on your corpse and stuff. It's pretty neat. Gem. Oh, shouldn't have opened that door. Now that guy down there might wake up. Luckily, he didn't wake up in my direction. Very, very inconvenient. Ooh, it one's got a gun. Shit. Ah, uh, I should have went earlier. That's okay, if they go into my corner. There we go. Okay. We're fine. Ooh, that was scary, though. Yeah, I always feel bad if you if it's pay what you want and don't pay anything. I felt I feel the same way, Citric. But like, I don't know. I didn't not pay anything for this, but I, like I said, I'm enjoying it so much. I think I'm gonna go back and uh, pay like five bucks for it. Let's see what we got. Wait 
for this camera. And uh, yeah, I have to use a key. Sometimes you don't have to, so it's important to first see if there are any other paths to the exit. Uh, bomb, can't afford it. A bomb. Ooh, that was dumb. Um, We could drill. No, there's no need to drill. I'm just gonna banana. And we'll go left. Rebooting, it's not gonna see me. Oof. Okay, he did not turn in my direction, and then he did. But I don't think it's gonna matter, because we just exit, okay. Dude, I could play the Metal Gear Solid. Let's do, let's find a Metal Gear Solid playlist. Such good music, it really is. Terry, if you're watching, I'm sorry, man. Solid um, music playlist. Metal Gear Solid theme, soundtrack, and tunes. 90 videos. Yeah, play all. Shuffle. Okay, that's not too loud at all, is it? That's good. That's how I want it to be. Let me know if it is too loud. Very, <laughs> you know, it's funny how much of the Metal Gear soundtrack is actually not appropriate for suspense stealth. Hey, what's up, Sir Merton? Good to see ya. When I looked at your name and said that, I like adjusted my glasses. I felt so scholarly. I was like, oh, Sir Merton. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to wait for him. Dog. So they're guarding a key down here. That's like the one of the easiest keys you can get in one of these levels. And that one too. Um, oh man, that guy's guarding. Oh, I could drill. I could totally drill in there. Ooh, I just barely moved in time. That was probably worth that drill. Go get this gem. Okay, now is it loud? <laughs> Looks a little loud. Okay. Yeah, it's still even teeny tiny bit loud. For just background music. There we go. You should be able to hear me pretty clearly. It also looks like my mic is quieter than usual, which is strange. I think it's just turned down. There we go, that might help. Okay. Some more quality streams. Well, this is a short one. Uh, I was just playing this and I was like, you know what, I guess it couldn't hurt to stream this. It's a cool game. Signal jammers, yes, please. Can I get another one? Sorry, I've got nothing else to sell. Okay. Pistol. Pistola. Let's see what we got down here. What is this? Fire extinguisher. Puts out fires all systems whenever it hits cameras, robots. Oh, shit. So, I could use that to put out the fire from my matchstick. I didn't even think of that. Quality, not quantity. Well, that's the thing. I'm also never sure how people are going to react to games like this. Like, very minimalist, uh, simplistic-looking games. That's, uh, one key, two gems. Um, I might not get the bomb, but I will get the gems at least. Actually, the bomb might be better than the pistol. Because the pistol alerts everyone, whereas the bomb can at least take out several people while it alerts everybody. Yeah, I think this is a... F well, then again, the pistol I can use multiple times. So, um... I think I'm gonna keep the bomb, though. 
Wonder how long the fire extinguisher extends it for. But yeah, I'm never sure. Like, do you guys in, like watching streams like this, or is it a thing that's like it's all up, I'm fine with it, but I could do without it type thing? Or how do you guys feel about like roguelike and other more quote unquote um, straightforward streams? I don't know the words I'm looking for. You know the words I'm looking for more than I do. It's not your thing. You've been the indie guy for me for more than half a decade now. Right, but there are plenty of indie games that are more, you know, shit. High production value. I just need to not get seen by... Try it. Dude, that seems like it's a full stun. It's a full knockout. I think there's only one knockout state anyway. Which is good. Kind of simplifies things. Pray he does not turn down my path. Thank you. Because I think they can just turn on the fly. They're ugly. They're ugly. Why am I pursuing him? People weren't. They probably were just tuned to another Vinesoft streamer. Yeah, it's true. That's true. That's true. Um, I like roguelikes, but I grew up with them. Can you tell me the name of the song? This song is called The Best Is Yet To Come. It's one of the, the Hallmark Metal Gear Solid 1 games. For me, or songs. For me personally, it's not even the games that are too important. That's true. I don't remember that sometimes. Um, I like, uh, I love roguelikes. Ooh. I'm pretty bad at roguelikes, but I love watching them. I mean, I watch the streams to listen to you talk about the game, not the game itself, to be honest. So as long as I'm talking interesting things about the game or about whatever then you'll like it regardless. Hmm. So you have to stay away from the red. Yeah, the red or the white. Um, the white is just a cone of vision that will just alert them, whereas a red is a cone of vision that will make them shoot you. So red is worse than white, essentially. Uh, let's go this way looks more interesting these levels are interesting because there's a much greater dilemma of do I continue to explore and find more things or do I take the exit when I find the exit because in the single screen levels of the first area where there's no scrolling camera you just always know when you're heading towards an exit you get a really quick feel of the level and you can make that assessment pretty quick in the second area it's it's interesting that really the main difference is that it's much larger but because of that, if you do stumble upon the exit, which can be anywhere, you just, you really have to ask yourself, do I want to keep exploring or should I take the exit while I'm here and while it's safe? Oh, I ran to that dog. Um, I could stun the dog. If I stun it where I want to stun it, it should not get in my way. Dude, that's a, that's a really good stun. The cone is huge and I get six uses out of it. It's massive. And I don't think there's any chance they can get into that, into my, this room with me. Because it's a straight hallway they'll be traveling down. They'll only turn once they hit a wall. Ooh, okay, let's watch this for a second. A surveillance camera. Or I could say it like Kiefer, a surveillance camera. Okay, so that's the exit. That is one thing you can usually... It's usually a... Oh, I could have gone around and I just didn't explore thoroughly enough. I wasted a key. You can usually suppose a room is going to have... It's likely to have an exit if it's a green door, which are locked by keys. I want to play Death Road again, but I messed up on modding it and now my character's have blue and orange hair. <laughs> Oops. You didn't back up all your files, man? That's like the number one rule of modding a game. Um, one key, two gems, which will buy my key back. It'll buy my key back and get me a free gem later on. So 
So there's the exit. Um, I kind of do want to keep exploring. I'm feeling pretty saucy. There's something over there. I think the question mark is just the camera. Take that. That's another big part of the strategy is just figuring out what the question marks are before you get to them. If they're stationary, they're either a camera or an object to pick up. If they're moving, they have to be an enemy. So far, I haven't found one positive thing that is um, that moves. There's there aren't any wandering shopkeepers or anything, you know. That's a camera. I haven't played Death Road to Canada yet, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, look at all the the bots in the starting room. They just can't find a way out. That's hilarious. I could just wait here forever, and I don't think they'll ever find a way out. Actually, that's not true. They might find a way out. Yeah, because they run into each other. That's really funny, though. Check it out. I wonder if Terry would consider that an exploit in a way, because those are supposed to be your hunger clock of sorts. They're supposed to keep you moving. Okay. So it took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, ten guards before one of them made it out. That's probably not intentional. Uh, leaf. I don't really need that leaf. I hate that kind of key, but. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a dangerous ass key. Let's see. Let me think here. If I move down, it will move down. The red with me. Yeah, I gotta. Oh, fuck. Oh. It damaged me, but then just moved on. I guess they don't pursue you, I guess they just keep moving. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. I thought they actually actively pursue you, but I guess they don't. And I hate these guys because they just, they're the same as the others. They turn a corner randomly and they move a lot quicker. And I need four doors. Look at that pattern, that's interesting. Or four keys before I can move on. Okay, this one's pretty easy. And I get caught, of course I get caught. Oh man, the arc on that is just insane. Um, I have four keys, which I think is, I think I've gotten them all on this level, except for that one up there. All right, ooh, lots of green. Let's see. Well, first off, we're definitely getting a med kit. Can't I just use this? I just want to use it. Uh, I can't do that. I have to make room in my inventory first. Uh, kind of sucks. Okay. Um, we will do gems. Skateboard. Skateboard's pretty good too. We will take the drill. All right. So this area, I always die pretty much immediately when I get here. So I'd want to not do that. Come on, Inferno Bloods. Let's, let's do this. Let's not die. Light bulb, which I could probably use, but again, I have to discard something in order to just use it. Maybe it'll just use automatically? Just use it. Ah, fuck. Um, I don't know what that guy is, that kind of bomb thing. Ooh, I got to the exit. Oh, look at this bullshit. I 
I don't think there's any way. Oh shit, now there's this jabroni. But that's okay, because he has only one path. Alright, we're done. Explore. Get the autocorrect skates. Great idea, Tyrion. There's having a Kunga line, don't worry. <laughs> Oof. Okay, don't be hasty, KY. Play by the books. Okay, so that does damage me and blows up everything around me, but does not alert the level. I was like, which way should I go? Go this way. Ooh. Yeah, so they behave the same way as the normal guards. They just move a lot quicker. For the camera, stop pointing at this door. There we go. Oh my gosh. If I had done anything suboptimal there, he would have seen me. Ugh. Okay. Um, let's go. Wait a few turns. Okay, so those are all stationary. Let's go right. Oh no. Is bad. Jam the camera signals. Okay. Oh fuck. Ooh no, this is really bad. We're gonna have to use our. Okay. Boss, get down. The enemy sniper. <laughs> oh, okay. All the, the cameras are coming back online, so I gotta be really careful. Oh, shit. Oh, he saw me. It's okay, I got my fire extinguisher. Okay, that guy's trying to come into my room, which I don't like. Exit. Yes. Oh, what? Am I right in the path of something? Uh. Oh, I was looking at the thing on the left. I was really confused. I don't want to fuck with him. I'm just drilling. <laughs> okay. Oh no, he's coming to me. Oh! Damn it! He didn't... Oh no! I'm dead. That's it. That's game over. Because I used my fire extinguisher hoping the arc was enough to hit the dog. Because if I had moved up... I'd be facing the wrong direction. Yeah, I don't think there is anything I could do. If it was wide enough, it would have knocked out the dog, and I could have continued. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's game over. I can't think of anything else. If I move left, it will hurt me, and move up, it will hurt me. If I move right, I could postpone it, but then um, number muncher down there it's going to get me. Let's keep going. It's the only option, really, is to run. I might find a loop where I can go around. Yeah, we could switch positions with them. Oh my god. Shit. Now it's game over. <laughs> Interesting. Well, we, we postponed it a bit, and that was a really... That's It just goes to show if there's an option besides death... And those are the only options, always take it, even if you think that it's useless, because you never know. Like in this case, if Number Muncher hadn't turned around, I could have potentially just uh, circled the dog to switch positions and then move forward. But in this case, we don't have a choice. So, 
In fact, if I had saved my fire extinguisher, I could have used my fire extinguisher on Number Muncher at that point and still continued the run. Um, so, interesting. Let's do a couple more runs. One or two. Sir Merton is the next thief to enter the tiny heist. <laughs> nope. Sorry, that didn't count. Good run, though. Very good run, Inferno, if you're still watching. Oh, you are still watching. There you are. Hey. Okay. Live lessons learned. This game is like a stealth game of chess. Looks cool. Yeah, it's really good. Here, I'll link it again, guys. It's, it's good. It good. I'm enjoying it. Oh, please turn. Shit. Dang it. Stupid. That's okay. We can just outrun him. Oh, can't outrun this guy, though. He was smart. Smart. I thought the camera was going to turn just a little bit more. Wish I could afford that, but I can't. Oh, I just saw a floor 3 out of 15. I, didn't, I was going to ask earlier, I wonder how many floors are in the game. And I just never processed that. It shows a maximum floor there. <laughs> Oh, he t oh, because he hit the camera and turned. That was dumb. Now, interesting. You interestingly, you can just step out of his line of sight even after he sees you. It's not like he'll strafe to meet you, you know. You just remind me of GPM playing the chess section. And Glitter Mitten Grove, while um, not knowing any of the rules, so you mean like the live action chess part? What did he think of Glitter Mitten? I enjoyed it a lot. That was really good. I'm a fan of this type of art style. A game named Don't Crawl is similar to this. There's one you should check out called Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. It's m very much more of a simulation roguelike type. Uh, almost like Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode, but in a post-apocalyptic future. But it has a great tile set in it called, I think, uh, Retro Days? Or Retro ASCII or something? And it's very similar to this. Um, let me link you that. And it's funny because I think all of the tile sets included in that game are total ass, except for that one. The two retro ones. Shit. What am I doing? I'm sorry, Merton. I'm letting you down, man. Yeah, Darren streamed it once. But yeah, there's a there's a great tile set in it called Retro Retro Days, I think it's called. There's also Retro ASCII, but I don't like it quite as much. Even though I usually do like ASCII. Fucking shit! I have one key, two key. If I can get my three key. Nope. And that's death. Sorry, Martin. You were not a very good thief. Um, let's do... Lunar Furor. One sec, guys. Okay. That game, Cataclysm or whatever, is hilarious because it gives you an absurd amount of options. Yeah, it does. Like, it lets you turn into a cyborg that eats machines and gains sustenance by breaking into houses and eating people's microwaves. I didn't realize it went that far. But, but yeah, it does have a stupid amount of things to do in it. Martin? I didn't say Martin. 
If I did, it was just a slip of the tongue. It's a long day, man. See, like that camera, I had no reason to knock out. It just felt good, so I did it. Oh, this is rough because there's the dog, the guy, and the camera. But we did it. See, Lunar. Man, Lunar is a thief, if I've ever seen one. Should have used my bulb there. It would have benefited me greatly to be able to see ahead exactly what I was facing. Ugh. And for this, you have to have a thing that jams the signal, or even just be okay with getting caught and then just booking it to the door after. So sometimes that's a pr totally valid option. But with this level layout, well, it's still possible. I'd have to knock out the guy on the right as close to that door as I can. Like up here. If he ever turns left, but I don't think he ever does. So never mind. So let's observe him. Maybe it's not a random direction. Maybe they have a preset direction like they prefer right. I don't know. Hey, Walkinator. How's it going? Yeah, Ivan's really cool. Ivan's crazy. You just prayed all sorts of gods and replace your limbs with all sorts of stuff. It's pretty great. That's like my favorite part of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, which I'm terrible at. I really like the different gods and stuff. Oh, run, run, run. Oh, I wanted it. Can still get it. That's fine. Because we got all the keys. I was a save scummer, though, because I sucked at the game. Oh, man. Oh, man. So here's a loop room if I ever need it. See what the dog is a guard. There's the exit. Those dogs can get me through the door or through the wall there, so I need to be really careful next time I head to that room. The dogs are not guarding anything down here, but we'll. Oh yeah, they're not. They're really not guarding anything. Okay. I loved in Ivan you can lose your limbs and get them replaced with neat stuff like diamond limbs and such. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Let's just wait on gems. Oh, I thought there was a hallway up there. Thing. Yeah, there's a key. Nice. That worked out really nicely. Uh, I think there was a way into that room without spending a key, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, he's got... A pistol. Ooh. Yeah, I'm taking it. Okay. The gods, though, if you only interact with ones of a certain alignment, when they say they are pleased, then you don't get negative effects. Like, if you read the chaotic books, then only interact with chaotic gods and so forth. Yeah, that makes sense. Have I played Contradiction? No, I haven't. What's contradiction? 
When I was a kid, I was obsessed with this game show called Concentration. Which was just like a simple, you know, reveal the panels type match puzzle game, and I don't know why, I just fucking loved it. I thought it was great. And I play the DOS game of it. There's a sweet DOS adaptation. Contradiction's a modern FMV game, I don't know. In these levels, Lunar Fur are. Man. Ooh, and a little key here. God damn. He made out like a bandit in this level. Boop. Hmm. And we have a med kit in full health. God damn. I wish I had closed doors behind me. That would definitely make certain things too easy, you just trap enemies in. Let's see a jammer. Um let's do this. And this is gonna be a little tedious, but it'll be worth it for the free jammer. So very, very solid level. Lunar knows how to do it. He's done many a heist. Also, I missed the the um, the cheer earlier. I'm sorry, Mad Bagel, if you're still watching. Thank you so much for the cheer. 10,000, not 10,000, holy moly, 1,000 bits. Still very appreciated. All right, so we're on the boss part. Ooh, this is tricky. Oh no! Cardboard box! Ha -cha -cha -cha. Disappear. <laughs> See if we can pick any others up while we're in the box. Yeah, cardboard box, super good. And we'll use our restore here while we can as well. You can use a key, get a key and a gem. I mean, it's free. As long as there's nothing following me, which there isn't, so. As long as I don't mess up, of course. If only I'd had a drill. <laughs> Fuck me, why'd I do that? That was stupid. Oh, now the dogs didn't get me too! I just misclicked. Too easy to misclick in this game sometimes. And now we're totally fucked. Ah, uh, we were doing so well. Shit. Shit. Ah, oh, I just got massive hosts. I was about to end the stream, too. Well, this one is for GPM. GPM enters the heist. Well, guys, if you are just joining us, welcome so much to the stream. I'm tired. <laughs> Very tired. I was just playing about an hour of this cool new roguelike stealth game called Tiny Heist. Made by Terry Cavanaugh of VVVVVVVV fame. Uh, and Super Hexagon. And it's good. It's really good. So, you play as the ampersand. Classic roguelike fashion. Let's restart. <laughs> <laughs> I could do better. Um, wait for this guy. And it's pretty straightforward from a stealth standpoint. Just don't enter the, the cones of vision or detection or whatever. And you just want to make it to the top. There's 15 floors. I think I got... Did anyone go back and... Or can anyone tell me what floor I was on that really good run? 
that we had earlier. Stupid. Oh, and I could have bananaed out of there. Shit. I... Oh, interesting. Half the floor is locked off. Huh. That doesn't happen too often. Oh, God. What am I doing? Stupid. Oh, and then he saw me. Oh, <laughs> no. Shit. Fuck it. Let's dance. Yeah, I know what you want to do. And he, interestingly, he could get the the distance advantage if he were just moved down instead of left and right. But something about the parody programming made him go left and right instead of down. Very interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of times, like really a lot of times, it creates a starting room where the guard, the extra guards it sends in cannot reach you, or will not reach you for a long time. Oh boy. <laughs> Matchstick time. Oh, really? I thought I had an extra turn. I must be holding the button down too long. That's one thing I've seen some complaints about this game with. Uh, you know in Roguelikes how when you hold down a button... I was on floor 15, I was? Fuck. I was at the end. I could have done it. Um... In roguelikes, often, or any turn-based game, oftentimes when you press a button to move, it will move one space, and then if you continue to hold, about half a second later, the, the character will uh, repeatedly move in that direction. In this game, that that hold button delay does not exist. Like, if I press and hold a button, he just continues to go. As a result, it's very easy to accidentally move two spaces when you really only move, uh, want to move one. Because if you hold it down even just a split second longer than you intend to, you uh, you move a little bit too far. So I've seen, I saw someone tweet Terry about it, and he said that he can't change it because it'd be too, it would interfere too much with the game feel. Yeah, fuck, oh, I should have set everything on fire before I restarted. But it still, it still really fucks you up. Okay, we need one really good run. Let's play as Hootie. Because those were the two big hosts I got were GPM and Hootie. Hootie is master of stealth, or so I hear. Oh, and I got a Vinny auto host, which even if he didn't come fresh off a of stream, it's still like way more viewers than I ever get. So, welcome to the stream. Is this the point where I explain the game the third time in a row? Sounds like an excuse to me. Oh yeah? Yeah? You, you don't know anything about this game, you see? It's important that you pick the characters that are good at stealth. Okay. You see? You see? Shit. Um... I don't have a key, so I can't escape through the green door. I'm gonna have to wait for Meat Boy to get to me. And I can't move to the right, because he'll see me before I get there, so I'm gonna have to move up. I only risk the camera waking up. Four. Three. Oh no. Wait, where did I go? Interestingly, the camera, that was a glitch. The camera woke up, saw me when I moved onto it. Yeah, we just barely didn't have enough time. I just got here, so please tell me what happens. <laughs> You're, you play as an ampersand in classic roguelike fashion and is a simple stealth roguelike. Do not enter the cones of vision, or you will be detected. Escape with the gems, and have a successful heist. At the same time, I totally understand what he meant about game feel, because there are times when you're just zipping around like a madman, and it feels really good. Um, do I want to go through? Oh, I can't go through the door. Man, that's the second time in like the last 10 minutes that I've been blocked off from half the level. You bought Tower Climb by the end of December. Nice, dude. Yeah, Tower Climb is fucking fantastic. What a great game. Yeah, it's a game of stealth. That's exactly right. This is... This should be... Oh, what? Okay, so... 
the name of this playlist is Metal Gear Solid Theme Soundtracks and Tunes. I'd go over to my YouTube video because someone said it's uh, it's Assassin's Creed, and here's what I see. A goddamn kill cam montage. Label your fucking playlists accurately, please. Like, what is this nonsense? I guess, I mean, it has music. There's no sound effects, so I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it's just like... <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to the next tune. Most of it is Metal Gear. There's just, for some reason, a, a kill cam montage instead in the middle of the playlist for no discernible reason. Go figure. Okay. That's pretty funny. I like these square rooms, kind of like a puzzle, you know. Now actually, now that I look at it, a lot of these starting rooms do start with the doors in the corners so that the patrol bots can actually escape. But not always. Sometimes if they're especially if they're on a flat wall, they can't ever leave the room. Um, signal jammers are really good. But I already have one. I think I'm just gonna wait. It's a happy face, yeah. He's a shopkeep. He sells you things. But three gems is pretty steep, especially when later on I could buy keys for one or two gems, and those keys get me uh, items. Now I have a skateboard, so I can do sick ollies and 360 heel flips and Casper slides and stuff. I can do so many tricks. Uh, do I want to go down there? No, I don't. Alright, first boss level, so to speak. I'm glad these always rotate the same direction, because that'd be terrible if they did not, if they rotate the other way. Okay. Fuck. How many keys do I have? Let's take... See, we can still escape this. We can do this. We need two more keys. Got one there. If we can just corral them all in this direction. I just need that one key over there and then escape with my skateboard. Maybe. Shit. Oh. Oh, no. Keep on trucking. Shit. He blocked me. I couldn't ollie away. Alright. We'll do one more run. This is the final run. Do the big man himself. Let's do it. Surely this won't end poorly. This is going to be my last run no matter how poorly Vinny chooses to perform. Just to throw that out there. No matter how poorly, he could beef in this very first level, and I would end the stream immediately. Fuck me! Hang on, let's not panic. We have bananas. Haha. -ha. Names do not matter, it's just literally a notepad file that I have open. What's this to the right? Oh, it's a camera. They might be the level seed, I can imagine. You could imagine that if you'd like. <laughs> really, it really is just a notepad file. Oh, there's a door up there. I could save a key by going all the way back. If I fuck up, it's a pretty straight shot to the exit from here, so I think that's a pretty safe thing to do. 
Ooh, look at that. So pro, Vinny. So pro. Let's see. Yeah, he did follow me, so we're going to do that. Okay, cool. What an intense mission, yeah. Blame it on the character. Yeah, I'm not making these choices. Shit. Light bulb's pretty good, but I don't know if it's three gems good. I love that feeling when you really start to get a grasp of resource and item value balance, you know? Because early on in games like this, you just have no sense of item value. So when you really start to get hang of it, it feels feels good, man. All right, let's get to the second area. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's one more up there, though. I got greedy, but it didn't really make a difference. Okay. Oh, okay. This must be one of Vinny's famous speedruns. Yeah, did you see that alert boost I did at the end there? Shit, I've been practicing this for years. Um, a light bulb for three gems. They really want to give me that light bulb. Let's do it. Fuck me. See that? Something really interesting I just noticed. Apparently enemy movement... Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. I'm not sure what the order, the turn order is here. Because the door I just moved onto is red, right? Uh, so, but when I moved onto it, I did not get alert. Therefore, the camera moved before me. But on the other hand, if the enemies move first, then the robot in the bottom left would have got me. But he did not, so I moved before that robot. So, I'm not certain. I thought I just had an insight about enemy turn order, but that just makes me more unsure of what's safe and what's not, you know? Interdesting. These guys, when you're... Uh, when you get caught in their vision, they don't actually pursue you, they just hurt you. Ah, uh, where'd that... Oh, wow, he's coming for me. But there's still so much that I'm missing. Maybe cameras move first and enemies move after the camera. Yeah, I mean, that's one explanation, but sometimes games like this will do weird arcane shit. Like where turn order is actually determined by vertical position <laughs> or something stupid. So worth. I got a whole extra key out of that. I would think that all movement is instantaneous. Well then, if that's the case, you need to kind of determine... There, there are cases where instantaneous movement leaves questions. Like, for example, where that thing with the camera, if there's a camera that is seeing a tile to my right, 
uh, and I'm going to move to my right, but the camera is going to move its vision away from that tile, do I get caught or do I not get caught if movement is instantaneous? Because if you get caught, it means the character move first, but if I don't get caught, it means the camera move first. So instantaneous, unfortunately, I don't think can exist. There has to be some sort of preference system there. Ooh, okay, this is tricky. Um, I'll do that. Shit, I'm gonna get caught. Yep. Oh no, Vinny's so fucked right now. Oh no, Vinny is so fucked right now. Yep. Me, there are no interactions, only the state after all the moves have been made. Right, but how do you determine whether that state is alert or not alert in that situation? You know? It's tricky! Okay. Um, yeah. So that is Tiny Heist. I'll pull up the title screen because it's nice. Which, of course, is black. It's a beautiful screen, don't you think? There we go. It's a cool game. Uh, it's free right now. It's pay what you want, actually. So you can pay money if you'd like. I've got a lot of hours in it so far. By a lot, I mean maybe three or four. Uh, so I think I'm going to go back and throw a couple spawn dualies at this guy. I really like his games a lot. I played a lot of Super Hexagon. And uh, a fair amount of VVVVVVV. Goodbye, Bignot. Um, That wraps up my short stream, which... Let's see, it ended up being almost two hours. Go figure, I could have done an episode of Batman. <laughs> no, Batman, Telltale's tricky, you know? Sometimes their chapters are like 90 minutes tops, and other times their chapters are like <laughs> way longer than that, like three, four hours. They're very inconsistent with the chapter timing. Um, if you enjoy the stream, uh, certainly follow. I would really appreciate that. You'll see all sorts of cool indie games and stuff. Uh, so, and hopefully I'll see you guys again next time. Uh, stick around. I'm going to do a host. As always, I encourage you to stay for the nice, big, girthy hosts. Because um, the longer you stay, the bigger their host. There is no new KY art. However, if you ever upload any fan art to the Boru, right here, and tag KY, show at the end of the stream, and it makes its way onto this lovely little reel. Um, or go to vinesauce.com, follow all the different Vinesauce streamers, because some of us are pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a host. Let's see who's streaming. And then we'll raid him. Um, let's see. One of my friends is playing Astroneer. There's also Dyer playing Dark Souls 2. Which got one would you guys rather watch? Just finishing an art. No, I'm sorry, Lunar. I have to go, man. My girlfriend's waiting to go to bed. If you know what I mean. Um, but which one do you guys want to watch? And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I'll show it next stream, Lunar. So no worries, man. Just upload it, tag KY, and I will certainly show it. Astroneer. He wants to see Astroneer, to be honest. All right, I'm going to host Astroneer. Uh, stick around. I'm going to host Binary Cupcakes, a really good friend of mine, a very good streamer. Um, I first watched her playing The Witness, and I liked it a lot, so I followed her, and it turns out all her streams are pretty good. So uh, stick around, and uh, I will maybe see you in her chat for a little bit. So see you there. Bye-bye.